What's going on guys, it's Swim here, and in today's Warframe video, we are going to have an in-depth look at the newest assault rifle in the game, the AX-52. In this video, we're going to have a look at everything that this weapon has to offer, and then I will be testing this weapon out in both the Simulacrum and Steel Path. Before we get into it, if you did enjoy this video, then drop a like down below. Also, share this video around with your friends, and subscribe as I have had no sleep due to Tenocon. With that being said, let's get straight into it. This is the newest addition to the Warframe Arsenal, the AX-52 Assault Rifle. We finally have an AK-47 type weapon in the game, and it does not disappoint. Looking at the stats of this weapon, this weapon is fully automatic, with a max magazine capacity of 40 bullets and has a 2 second reload speed. The AX-52 also has a base critical chance of 26%, while the critical multiplier is 2.4 times. Additionally, the status chance is also at 18% and the weapon's primary damage output is puncture, which with the new status rework, temporarily reduces the target's damage output up to 80%. This weapon also has a unique trait where hip-fired shots have a 60% ammo efficiency, and aimed headshots have a 100% critical chance, so aiming for the head will in turn help you deal even more damage. To show off the AX-52, I have two builds for you today. Each build is different, but they all have the same outcome, total annihilation. First up, we have the classic Hunter Munitions plus Viral setup that shreds all enemies. Starting off, we have Rhyme Rounds for the 60% cold and 60% status chance. We also have Galvanized Aptitude for plus 80% status chance and on kill, plus 40% direct damage per status type affecting the target for 20 seconds. We then have Hunter Munitions that gives us a plus 30% chance to apply slash on critical hits. Moving on, we are also using Infected Clip for that 90% base toxin. Next up, we are also using Malignant Force for that plus 60% toxin and plus 60% status chance. We also have Vital Sense for the additional 120 critical damage. Galvanized Chamber for the plus 80% multi-shot and on kill plus 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. The last mod we are using in this build is Critical Delay for that plus 200% critical chance and a negative 20% fire rate. We are also using R5 primary deadhead for our arcane. This arcane procs on precision headshot kills, giving us an extra 120% damage that stacks up to three times. We also get some headshot multiplier and less weapon recoil, but if you really wanted to, you could swap out primary deadhead for primary merciless. The extra 30% damage per kill is pretty good, but I find aiming for the head deals even more damage. Over on the left hand side, we have a 78% critical chance and a 5.3 times crit multiplier with a 54% status chance. We are also dealing mainly puncture and viral damage that does 1.5 times damage to the Oricon faction. Pairing that with Hunter Munitions, we will be dealing some serious damage. The next build I have for you utilizes a cold and corrosive combo. This build can strip the enemy's armor and slow them down, dealing a ton of DPS. Starting off, we have Prime Shred for that plus 55% fire rate and 2.2 punch through. We then have Galvanized Aptitude again for the plus 80% status chance and on kill plus 40% direct damage per status type affecting the target for 20 seconds. We also have Malignant Force to give us plus 60% toxin and plus 60% status chance. Next up, we are using High Voltage for that plus 60% electricity and 60% status chance. Next up, we also have Rhyme Rounds for that 60% cold and 60% status chance. We also have Vital Sense again for the additional 120% critical damage. We are using Galvanized Chamber once again for plus 80% multi-shot and on kill plus 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. The last mod we are using is, of course, Critical Delay for that plus 200% critical chance and that negative 20% fire rate. We are also using R5 Primary Deadhead again because we do want to be aiming at head level to gain that extra 100% critical chance with the unique trait. On the left hand side of this build we have a 78% critical chance once again with a 5.3 times crit multiplier. We also have a 64.8% status chance. We are going to be dealing mainly puncture, corrosive and cold damage. Corrosive does times 1.5 damage to the Grenier faction and temporarily removes up to 80% of the target's armor value depending on the amount of stacks you have. Cold causes enemies to have slower movement and can freeze enemies in place for 3 seconds upon reaching 3 stacks. This setup fires faster than the other build. It can also deal some incredible damage. Let's head on over to the Simulacrum and see what this weapon has to offer. We are now in the Simulacrum and I'm going to be testing these builds on level 160 Steel Path Modified Corrupted Heavy Gunners. 
I will be testing both builds with and without Warframe abilities to show you the minimum and maximum damage output. But for now, let's focus on the Viral and Hunter Munitions build. This build is great and can be utilized for most factions. However, the downside to this build is that there is no innate slash procs since the weapon only deals puncture damage. Hunter Munitions still does a great job at proccing slash, but it could have been better with some base slash. The AX-52 is a generic assault rifle, so aim down sights and unload bullets into the enemies. As you can see, when I aim down sights and shoot at head level, that bonus 100% critical chance from the unique trait gets activated. This is very lethal when paired with primary deadhead. Another thing to note is that we are using galvanized mods, so it will take some time to reach the maximum amount of damage that this build offers. Once the galvanized mods are built up, you can deal an incredible amount of damage when aiming down range. Moving on, the second part of the unique trait can also be utilized to deal some serious damage and make sure you never run out of ammo. Using the same build, if we hip fire instead of aiming at head level, we gain plus 60% ammo efficiency. The downside to this weapon is that it only has 40 rounds in the magazine, but with that 60% ammo efficiency, we technically have a ton more ammo at our disposal. Don't be discouraged to straight up avoid this part of the unique trait since it still does an insane amount of damage. Here is some footage of the build in action with a few warframes that synergize well with this weapon. Now let's move on to the final build. We're going to be versing the same level 160 steel path modified corrupted heavy gunners. Same deal as before, I will use this build with and without Warframe abilities to show you the minimum and maximum damage output. This time we are focusing on the cold and corrosive build. This build does perform really well, however corrosive is better when used against the Grenier. Same thing again with the previous build, aim down sights and dump your bullets into the enemies. Shoot at head level to proc the unique trait and watch the bodies fall. This build once again is very lethal when paired with primary deadhead. We are also using galvanized mods once again, so it will take some time to reach the maximum amount of damage this weapon can dish out. The cold procs are very useful to freeze enemies in place, helping the chance to hit headshots. When it comes to the second part of the unique trait, things get really interesting. If we hip fire instead of aiming at head level, we proc the 60% ammo efficiency. With Prime Shred, we do fire a lot faster than the Viral Hunter Munitions build. Combining Prime Shred with the 60% ammo efficiency, we can straight up obliterate any enemy in sight in a matter of seconds. Again, here is some footage of this build in action with a few Warframes that synergize well with the AX-52.
Now that the testing is out of the way, let's head on over to the Steel Path and see how the weapon performs. We are in the Void on Mott, Steel Path of course, and let's see what this weapon is capable of. Overall, I think the AX-52 is a well-rounded assault rifle with a nice two-sided unique trait that fits a wide variety of playstyles. The 100% critical chance on headshots is nice to have and the ammo efficiency, while not as prominent, with Prime Shred can cause pure chaos. There are a couple of downsides to this weapon such as the measly 40 rounds in the magazine and the 2 second reload time, but they aren't really a problem when tackling early game and basic steel path content. If we were talking ribbons then I would suggest you try to roll for either damage, multi shot, critical damage or even magazine capacity. But enough yapping from me, let's see how this weapon performs against an acolyte. This time it is Malice. And there we have it. It was a bit rough, but we got there in the end. This took out the Acolyte pretty fast. If there wasn't a lot of enemies, we could have killed it a lot quicker. But definitely aim for headshots when using this weapon because it does make all the difference. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you all have enjoyed. Please let me know down below what you think of the new AX-52 Assault Rifle. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking the video, sharing it around, and also subscribe. As I've had no sleep due to Tenocon, I live in Australia, so I was up until like 7 in the morning. If there's anything I can improve on, then please let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Swim, guys. Later.